Sorry, Joe. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the municipality of Monroeville Special Council meeting. Today is Friday, December 19th, 2014, a little bit after 2 p.m. We all kindly rise for the Lord's Prayer, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, Sharon, please. Mayor Senko? Here. Mrs. Gatos? Here. Dr. Greesock? Here. Mr. Harvey? Here. Mr. Johns? Mr. Clary? Mr. Duncan? Here. Mr. Wilson? Here. Mr. Little? Here. Mr. Dice? Mr. Lally? Here. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll open up the floor for public comment on agenda items only. Mm. You'll sign in. Uh, Could you just state your name, please? Oh, I'm sorry, Sharon. I'm new at this. No, just state your name. <laughs> My name is John Yakum. Thank you. And I forgot. Merry Christmas, Jeff. Same to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, what is the purpose of this ordinance? Why are we doing this? We have unanticipated expenses come in. The biggest one is the payback of a uh, refund of taxes from the assessment appeals and the increase in health benefits. Those are the two big lines share. So in order to free up money going into the first quarter of the year, just to be on a precautionary, what we're going to do is not make the uh, transfer into the OPEB money of a million dollars. So that, that frees that up right there that we don't have to make that transfer in there. So our cash flow will be on a cautionary, on a buffering stage going into the first quarter. Because March 31st is, is the lowest trough period in any municipality in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And we just want to make sure that we're okay moving ahead into the first quarter. Okay, now I understand moving and not moving because of cash flow purposes. So are you suggesting that come March 31st, April 1st, April 15th, this will then get moved? Or is this money being unallocated to the 2014 OPED payment? It is being unallocated, period. Okay. So in other words, the money's been spent, we, and now we just need to make sure we don't have enough. Well, not, not a full million, John. Not a full okay. million. I mean, we have about a little over $600,000 in unbudgeted expenses. It's not a full million. Okay, but we're moving okay. a million. But we're moving, exactly. Okay, and why the extra 400000 Well, because that's what's uh, going to be, bu that's what's budgeted, budgeted for the OPEB. And I want to be on the safe side when we're moving into the first quarter. Okay, so that 400000 will that be put into OPED after the cash flow crunch is over or not? No, because in the 15 budget, we're budgeted to put in there a million dollars. Well, we're budgeted the 15 for this budget. year, too. Well, it'll, it'll just go. What happens is this is a whole year's process, John. Mm -hmm. All right, you start out January 1st, 2014, okay? And you come all, you come all the way through through here and what this does is this lowers the fund balance coming up at the end of the month right now than what we had anticipated being okay. so the extra four hundred thousand dollars that you're talking about that's going to increase the fund balance moving through the right? general fund balance the general fund balance correct. exactly but it was budgeted to help go pay down this OPEB which is a future liability correct and that was one of the reasons why we had two huge back-to-back -back tax increases, essentially doubling mm. our real estate taxes. No, that, no I wouldn't. Well, no, one no. of the reasons was to pay the OPEB. Well, that was, yeah, you, but 
you're guess, making it out to be it was the main reason. It wasn't the main no, reason. No, but it was a significant reason. That was a you know, million dollars a year is a significant reason. Yeah, it was, as I said in March, it was the part of the $3.3 .3 million extra money that we took in. Okay, so it's 30% of that okay. reason for that tax increase. Correct. Okay. Why is this being sprung on us a week before Christmas? It's, it's, not, it's not being sprung. Well, public doesn't know about it because it was, you know, it's, it's, it, it appeared, I'm, I'm surprised it appeared in the paper. I was glad to see it appear in the paper. So but am I. these special meetings that occur at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, people were not used to watching this. We heard nothing about this during the December budget process. Um, did we know about it in November and December when the budget was being discussed? Yeah, Mr. Lally and I. We, we come across this, so we're, look, we're looking at the fund balance mm -hmm. dropping as we do cash flow projections going not only at the end of the year, but moving through the first quarter of 2015. And not only that, moving through of all going into next year in 2016. All right. Now, as you get closer to the end of the year, you start nipping away and seeing definitely where you're going to be with your fund balance. But the $600,000 of un unanticipated or unbudgeted expenses, you would think at some point during the, during the course of the year the public would have heard about that. Well, when, when we found out in May that our health, ex health expenses were up 27%, what I figured we have in the fund balance coming at the end of this year, yeah, I figured we can, we can absorb that. All right. But then as we moved along here, with we had more more expenses with we hired some additional personnel that wasn't budgeted plus on top of when we started finding out the refunds that were given in taxes that all accumulates as you're moving along then you get into october and you have your department heads everybody starts putting the budget together and then as you're moving along towards the end of the year you're saying well wait we're not going to have as much money we're having about as much money in our fund balance now as we did at the end of 13. and we cut it a little bit close you know, at the end of 13. Our reserves are going down, John. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they, they are going down. I, I, I'm, I'm sure they okay. are. I'm, I'm aware and, of that. And, and, and there isn't anybody that's sitting up here on this dais that, that wants to do or about to do, you know, as far as we, our whole plan was to fund the OPEB fund. Mm -hmm. Okay, but my recommendation to council is not to do it right now for 14. We have all intentions of doing it for 15. Okay, but my recommendation is don't transfer this money, all right, because we need that buffer going into the first quarter of the year. You know, I sit and I watch these meetings, and um, <coughs> I listen to them, so I'm, 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 I'm certainly not an expert at what goes on <coughs> on that dais, but I listen to the meetings, and I'm, and I'm paying attention to what's going on. And that little bit of blurb that you mentioned last month, or at the beginning of, at the last meeting, where you wanted to schedule a special meeting, mm -hmm. I was left with the impression that you simply wanted to have a meeting to allow to move a million dollars into the OPEB fund. There no, are no, a lot of people. Unbudgeted. Well, there's a lot of people that are surprised that we don't have this million dollars and we're only hearing about it on December 19th after the budget process. So that's one of my concerns and that's the concern of others. Well, I mean, that, I mean that, that's a valid concern. And why we haven't been you know, hearing about this sooner and the spending hasn't slowed down. This year the spending's been, been adding new employees. I heard about a new employee today that's being hired, um, a new department that's, I, you know, I haven't confirmed it yet, but it looks like we're going to have another secretary position being filled. And um, uh, It's news to us. Well, I'm, if, is it wrong? Is it not true? I'm tired of it. Is it not true? I'm not going to. I'm not going to comment on, okay. on that right now. As far as hiring a new secretary, when jobs get posted and everything, whether or not the hiring happens, okay. you know that will be ratified at the January meeting, John. Okay, so we're spending more money. Um, we had two major tax increases, and we're what, coming. Excuse me. What were the two major tax increases? Well, last year and this year. We didn't have a tax increase this year. You most certainly voted for a tax increase in 2000. Well, what, what was the one last year? We had a 1.57. Uh, mill increased, period. One tax increase. Right. That was it. In the previous year, you had another tax increase. No, we didn't. Absolutely quarter, did. Huh? Quarter, yeah, you did. Well, yeah, but that wasn't us. <laughs> it that was, was this government. Well, it was it was your council that did that. Well, hold, John, I'm hold getting on. tired of you being here. 
Mr. You're Wilson. saying all kind of people, and I'm telling you, Mr. Wilson. I see one person here, and you're the only person I see. Tom, Tom, Tom. And I've Tom, had it with you. Tom. Tom, he has a right. Uh, he, Tom. His, his, Tom, there was a tax increase. There was two back-to-back oh, -back oh, tax shit. increases. Oh, Where's over, the money? Over 20 years. It was Where's the money, Tom? Don't you think the cost of business is going up, too? Yes, and every year the businesses pay more and more cost in taxes. Cost of business is going up. Cost of uh, union contracts are going up. And it's costing us more Mr. money. Mr. Wilson, I suggested business. five or six things during the course of the budget process where this municipality could save some money. And not one of them was taken into consideration. Well, not one of them was How approved. Do you know? How do you know they weren't taken into consideration? I, I, I corrected myself. They were not. They were not. Um, they, were, they were not done. But you don't know if we took them into consideration. But there, if you look across the board, the, the, the places in the last two years where taxes have been, you know, where, where costs have been cut has not, is not existent. Taxes go up every year. In the, no, in the business wait, 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 wait. privilege taxes. Two years in a row. Business privilege taxes, every time a business does more business, the municipality gets more <coughs> money. Every time oh, a. Isn't that supposed to be that way? And That's every way time. Well, you're saying that they haven't been raised I'm, in 20 I'm, years. I'm, done. I'm, done. I'm done. sorry. John, go back on your John, I, continue. I'm on surprised. Your I'm a little disappointed that we're hearing about this 11 days before the end of the year after yeah. the budget process has occurred. This is a 2014 budget. Issue. I understand that. Yeah, he knows that. Yeah. I understand that. But you would think two weeks ago when you folks voted on the huh. budget that something about moving a million dollars or having short yeah. under anticipating $600,000 would have come up in the conversation. But we were voting on the 15 budget, not the 14. I understand that. Okay. But in the course of this 15 budget, you would think the topic of revenues and expenses from the previous year, somebody would have said, oh, by the way, you know, to the public, we're going to be short a million dollars. We're not, uh, John. We're not. We're not short a million dollars. Okay. What we're what we're well, we doing here. We spent more than a million than we thought we were going to okay, spend. Okay. Well, we had uh, exactly. We had unbudgeted expenses coming in here, and and when we were making out, as I said, when Sean and I were looking at this, when we started to, or when we coagulated the budget process in October, mm -hmm. okay, was when the first indication that we thought we were going to have less money at the end of the year. Which really isn't, really isn't the, the point. Even though we're on a budget, uh, a budget calendar year, March thirty first. I understand that. I understand okay. cash flows. All right. I really do. Okay. And if it was just a cash flow situation where you're saying, okay, we're going to hold off moving this until fiscal year two fifteen to allow for that buffer. Um, I would understand that, but that's not what's happening. This money is being reallocated, and it's not going to be spent on the OPEB. Well, there's you know. There's an, there's another item too going into the, going into the 13 or excuse me the 14 at the end of the year in 13 we had less money in the in the fund balance than we had anticipated mm -hmm. okay and that's because we had money to build the FBI building up there and that was contained within the fund balance and that's another reason too okay because you're coming through 14 and you expect because your fund balance <laughs> stays stationary when you're when you're going throughout a whole fiscal year that's a stationary number. So if you think that number, depending on how much you revenue you take in or expenses, you know, that you give out is going to depend on where that fund balance is when you come at the end of your fiscal year the following year. I understand that. Okay. We had less money in that fund balance because we had FBI money, which we got from the FBI mm -hmm. to the tune of $729,000. Right. And that kind of kept and your exactly. balance a little bit higher well I, I understand well that. okay and that all and that all of a sudden it shows up in your books but in your checking account it's still there it well it, it's still there and that was contained within the fund balance on December 31st 2013 unbeknownst to me and that's an and that's another reason why coming into the 14 at the end of the 14 that fund balance is going to be a little bit lower okay well I just think the public was kind of you know pulling something this this is like Harrisburg doing a midnight deal midnight vote it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon on the Friday before Christmas. Nobody's paying attention. John, I can, discuss John, I, can, John I can appreciate you looking at it that way and some people looking at it that way. But this was my recommendation to council. Um, it would be better to do it now than to try and do it you know, sometime and in, in, to have some kind of a cash flow crisis if we all of a sudden had to spend four hundred thousand dollars on something that's unbeknownst to us right now mr. little I right. understand the cash flow to situation I really okay. do I really do but the I what I John anything I, on a Friday before <clears throat> Christmas 
Would it have been better if we would have had it Thursday night? No, I think it would have been better if it had been at a public meeting where people were, were listening and paying attention to this. <coughs> well, I'll, gi I'll, I'll give you that point. Because okay. had the Times Express not, had the, had the Times Express no not published this, I don't think many people in Monrovia would have known this was happening. But they did. <coughs> it, was they did. it was but advertised. They did, and they it was did. advertised. It was, it was advertised. advertised. It was advertised. And in there the was door. a nice big article in the uh, and in the Times. Mr. Most people don't read the, most people don't read the advertisements in the middle of months. Okay, but so then I'll give you that. But there was the article. Yeah, there was. I mean, it's the best. <laughs> and it was discussed at our council gone. meeting on and Tuesday. It was, it was mentioned. Okay. It wasn't discussed. Well, that's the best we could do. But for John, us. but all kidding aside, there's nobody up here trying to no, look. We're not trying to. We're just trying to do. We're just trying to take care of business as business comes to us. And trying to be, as I mentioned to Gideon the other day, trying to be as proactive as we can. I don't want to. I don't want to come to Consul six weeks ago and hit the panic button that are doing what we're doing now, when maybe we don't have to. And I'm not saying right now as this stands right now, John. We may. We may not. We may not have to. Um, take take money. Uh, this full million dollars and use it all, as you're saying. Okay, that, that is true. You're correct on that. But I want to be on the safe side here. I want, I want to operate on the side of conservancy here. And I think you can appreciate that. Well, I certainly can appreciate the cash flow situation. But I don't, like I said, the, um, for, first of all, there's $400,000 that hasn't been mentioned specifically in the paper. And number two, I think the public was blindsided. And that was my main point, that the Friday before Christmas, even yesterday's newspaper, nobody read yesterday's newspaper. They were at the mall. So that's oh, my only question. I read the newspaper. Okay. I wasn't Thank at you. the mall. And there's nobody else in the audience, and so we'll move over to the uh, ordinance. And if uh, Chelsea will read it into the record. Um, an ordinance of the municipality of Monrovo amending the 2014 budget to exclude the transfer of $1 million from the general fund to the other post-employment benefit OPEB fund. Council, I think uh, enough explanation was out there. Uh, motion on the floor. So moved. Second. One more time. Any other questions or comments? Roll call, Sharon, please. Mrs. Gatos. Aye. Dr. Greesock. Aye. Mr. Harvey. Aye. Mr. Duncan. Aye. Mr. Wilson. Aye. And now we'll move over to our reports of our municipal staff. Chelsea, I know he just. I, I want to apologize that I was late. I was, <laughs> was in the line at the post office and I wasn't about to leave after standing there for half an hour. So <laughs> I got through it, but I apologize I'm late. I have nothing else to report. <laughs> Very good. Tim? No comment. Sean? No comment. And once again, we'll open up the public comments on any municipal items. Seeing none, we'll close that and we'll go to reports of our consuls. Uh, Tom, we'll start off with you. Uh, I'd like to wish everybody happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. Very good. Steve? Any comments I have, I'll save till next month, and I just wish everybody a happy holiday. Thank you. Ron? I concur with Steve. I'll wait until the regular meeting in January and hope everybody has a safe and happy holiday. Nick? Uh, I actually have one, one question, actually, for Tim. He mentioned it about the FBI money yeah. from last year. Um, what was that approximate amount? Seven hundred twenty-nine thousand dollars and some change. So that was essentially it was like a bookkeeping error. Well, I, I wouldn't call it a bookkeeping error. Um, it was it was transferred out in February out of the general fund this past February. But when you are looking at where your fund balance was on, on the previous year, all right, I'll take the blame for that when we were initiating. And I say initiating in August or September that that FBI money was still in the fund balance of December 31st. All right, but October came around and it hit me then that that FBI money was still in that fund balance on December 31st, 2013. But it probably should have been somewhere else. It should have been, that. and I did, and it was transferred out and it was put into a, uh, what we call a grant fund. Uh, Shouldn't that have been done initially, though? Yes. When it was yeah. first coming. So it was a and we got that money, I think it was in October of 13 or September of 13. That was prior to Mr. Lally starting, correct? Correct, correct. That was our former, yeah. former finance. So okay. that, that, and that, that's, another, that's another reason where your fund balance going through 14 is, is a little bit lower than what you think it is. And then you come in and you're kind of in the middle stages of making out your budget. 
and you start to recognize that your fund balance is going to be lower coming into, uh, into 14. And I just want to, you know, this is a precautionary me measure right here. All it is is, is just um, keeping things on the conservative side to make sure that we don't have any problems going into the first quarter of the year. All intentions are made to, to put this a million dollars into the OPEB fund as we continue on here. Uh, and that all depends on expenses as we move through 15, 16, 17, and, 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 and moving forward. Uh, so a lot of different things can happen. Very good. No matter that, I just have uh, just wish me everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Linda. Uh, just Merry Christmas and a safe and Happy New Year to everyone. And ditto, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays uh, to all. And with that, uh, Council, uh, we do have an executive session for legal and personnel reasons. And motion to adjourn. Motion to go to executive session. To executive session. Uh, is there a second? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you and good night, mm -hmm. ladies. Mm -hmm.